I have here today is a 1965 Pook. It's made uh, in Austria and it was sold by Sears and Roebuck. So it's labeled Allstate on the tank. Uh, very interesting bike. Uh, this motorcycle is, well, you, as you see it, lots of patina. It sat for many, many years. Uh, recently, we put a new battery in it, a new fuel pack cock, new cables, throttle, and both brake cables. The original mileage is shown 4,245 miles and gaining since I've been riding it up and down the street. Anyways, this thing is really interesting. Um, I, I say it's built like a Mack truck because it just is everything is built heavy duty on it it's really an interesting motorcycle uh, looks like a British tail light but everything again is original to this bike except the petcock and the fuel and the um, the cables I just mentioned uh, so I had to put a new petcock on it because it was bad so I put a new fuel line on it and you can see these are actually they call this bike the twingle again this bike being all original um, it's what we call it it's a two-cylinder it's called they call it a twingle it's two cylinders with two pistons and one combustion chamber. Uh, you can read up on that. But again, all original this bike. All the lights work, the horn works, the brake lights work. Uh, it stops, it's drum brakes, it stops fine. Uh, it's a 250cc, it runs really well. Um, you're gonna see me drive it up and down the road. I really love this um, tool compartment. It's pretty interesting. It's got little louvers here in the front. It's all, everything's there, all original. Tell me I see somebody with an inline fuse in here at one time or other. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing missing on the bike. The battery tray cover's there. Tires hold air. Um, they may be original tires. I don't even know. But, uh, lots of rust on it, but that's what makes it we call patina. So, again, we're going to start it up and take it for a little ride. All right, here we are. We're going to do a start on it. Uh, the gas is on. Tickle the carburetor key on there's a neutral light and um, again it's a left-hand shift so Great flight work. 